You better put on that lamp, too. Hundred thousand. You can believe me, the bank at Doherty never had that much cash in its safe at any point. Don't worry about it. Good night. You and Ed, you stay inside. All right. Take it easy, Bill. Hey, Stafford! Send two guards to the back and put two on Main Street. And make it fast. Okay. Close the door. Enjoy sitting up there. I'm like a piece of crap in the road, huh? Scrawny alley cat. Speak right out. I dare you. Big noise sitting there, aren't you? And I, Carincha, I say the Holy Virgin and all the saints, they know the truth. That at the Battle of Richmond that took nine days, I killed how many? Uh, ah, what's the difference? At least 20. Uh, what do you want? Don't you believe what I say, huh? 
I was the trumpeter in the 7th Regiment, that's who. I could blow up an elephant with a breath in my body. Ah! But the regiment took my trumpet from me, I don't know why. Like my bottle of whiskey. That alley cat up there thinks they were right. And all I have left was my medal, which I thought was enough to buy me a bottle. But they said it was no good. Ah! Ah. What are they good for, medals? In war, they're all compañeros. Then, when they get home, they aren't worth a damn. Not you, though. You're a man who knows, huh? <laughs> See the others? No, not from here. Seven. Seven. Nichols, didn't you lose enough? 
get it, Nichols. Don't bet that. Make up your mind. This isn't worth anything. That's a different thing. I'll buy it from you as long as you throw her in, too. <laughs> That's a good watch. I paid a lot of money for it. Okay. Sit down. Sit down and eat. Your dice are loaded. Try those. <laughs> he told you to eat, didn't he? <laughs> Don't you like music with your supper? Just don't try it again. I'm sorry. Five. Hi. 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 Oh, that's the way. Oh, yeah. Sure. It's your turn, stranger. You sure the my boss? <laughs> that's it. You won. Thank you. <laughs> he's a friend of mine. And he's generous, too. You know one can beat him to the draw with dice or with pistols. Uh, at Quaker one night, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. And he got 20 men in 10 seconds. Liar. <laughs> oh, oh, there is nothing to laugh at. Now you're always talking to I'm telling the truth. Maybe there weren't 20 of them, but there were at least 10. If you ten. couldn't see, how could you count them? Hey, Cat Cool. He can see in the dark. What would you expect me to take a small change lying around outside the safe? I know, but where does that leave all of us? Huh? Get back, all of you. What is it? They took the safe. Come in here. I didn't hear a thing when it happened. Oh, come on, Jane. Let's take a walk. You never give a damn about anything, do you? And I chose you out of the crowd. Now, don't take it to heart. I'm just passing through. 
Quiet, 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 please. I'll explain. Mulligan, you go to the commander of the regiment and tell Colonel Rafferty to come here to see me immediately. All right. Look out. Look out. Let me through. We'll need volunteers. I know. Harriman's already rounding it's them up. It's crossing to Mexico. Hey, it's Sam, over, huh? Hey, must you call the commander of the regiment in? Huh? That safe had a hundred thousand dollars in it. Belongs to the army. Oh. Great. Hold it, hold it. Collins, you head for Los Palos. You others ride with me to the border. They cleaned out the bank, eh, Jane? Yeah, that's right. I wish I had the money. I'd drink whiskey until I drowned it. Hey, you! On the wagon! Turn back! Turn back! There isn't a Winchester going that can shoot half that distance. Acrobats in the world. Uh, in St. Louis, maybe. Place, Colonel. Not a trace. I have nothing else but to notify General Perkins. Colonel, let me keep looking for them one more day. Gentlemen? Somebody around here lose a safe? They didn't act very friendly when I told them to bring it back. All in order, Colonel. It was a real stroke of luck, Colonel, getting the safe back. Mm -hmm. They're not from these parts. Hey, they're from St. Louis. Sir, you've got a reward coming to you. Look after him. See about his money. be thirsty after all that hard work, right? <laughs> a wagon, a two-ton safe, huh? And seven men, huh? A fine day's work. <laughs> First there were seven men, then seven bodies. Seven, like on the dice. 
was loading them up any trouble? I don't like to bury anyone, but next time I'll lend a hand. You keep firing and I'll load, okay? <laughs> uh, hey, compadre, Gorinch isn't afraid of bodies. I saw lots of them die, those soldiers. What about that, eh? At Richmond, the battle took nine days and the army gave me a medal. Ah, what good do these medals do anyone today? Life today is horse droppings. You already said that. <laughs> Well, how much do you want? You tell me. Two thousand? Mm hmm. Five thousand. Mm hmm. All right. Sergeant Keller will bring you the money. Hey, you could have got more money than that. After all, you had all their money in your hands, the whole hundred thousand. And Mexico so near you could be there. And you, bargain like a woman, ended with a lousy $5,000, selling yourself to the law. It might be lousy, Carincha, but it's legal. Yeah, but if I just imagine, I plan this robbery, carry it out, get my money, and you come along to stop me. <laughs> Knife like that would be better as a friend. If it's friends you want. Would you like to have two? Two? Hey, Ellicott! <laughs> oh, don't you like him? Sign here. A new man who blows into town and already has picked up 5,000 is interesting. <laughs> Number seven. It's the best in the house. Next door to mine. You staying on long? Just passing through. You never know. You passing through too? Mm. Yeah. Sabata. I don't hardly recognize you anymore. Because of the safe? And if you were in my shoes, what would you have done? Me? I'd have kept the money. Temple. Stengel, it's time you made a mistake. Trying to steal a hundred thousand dollars from the army to buy land that the railroad must purchase to come through, all because of your greediness and to satisfy your mania for grandeur. 
you took this foolhardy step. The risk was too great to take. I... I'm dishonored by all this, of course. And so is Ferguson. Aren't you? All I know is I'm leaving this town. No. The Colonel won't drop this whole thing. He'll investigate, of course. And he'll start right at the top. Just a minute, Judge O'Hara. You are never leaving Doherty. Hmm? Stegel, don't! All right. That's better. You'll be here with the rest. Well, I'll Oswald. I want the Virginian brothers and their wagon taken care of. Yeah. Oswald. Bad business. Which is exactly why I'm here. But we did our part like we said. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. My boss always pays up. Oswald. Yeah, got to get rid of that wagon. I sent three men. They know how to get rid of it. Hey, what are you thinking so hard about? You see, saw an acrobat, huh? you get into the bank. Acrobat? The upper window. You catch the army reward and get out. Don't look for trouble. Oh. Those acrobats took part in that robbery. And then disappeared. Ooh. Hey! Get away from that wagon! Who the hell are you? Could be your pole bearer, huh? <laughs> He's one of Stangle's men. That makes it all clear. Come in. All men gifted with superior talent, and thus with superior powers, must command and use inferior men.
Well, it's all been done. Virginian brothers and the men from St. Louis are dead. You're the only person who knows about the robbery. And are you safe? I won't talk. <laughs> Four chances, Oswald. Free to depart. One to stay. Hey, cut it out, Stangle. You won't play? You want the alternative? All right. You don't really think anyone like you can put one over on me. Oswald, I like living at the peak of excitement. For life is only worthwhile when you can face death without showing any fear. In fact, I enjoy it. Hundred feet. Huh. That's impossible. A wise man keeps his distance. Stengel! That acrobat's wagon is positive evidence against you. So if you'd like to have it, it'll cost you ten thousand dollars. Come here, and you'll get them. I'm coming! Where the 
devil did he go? Oh, there he is. them a run for their money. <laughs> I haven't budged from here. You'd better keep your horse tied up then. Or else people might say, uh, he's been up playing around with the fillies again. We better be off then. I got a feeling he needs us. Right. Ah, Ellie Cat's done it again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, London, Paris. I dream about them. Ever since I was a kid. And I still do. That's all we need to get us out of here. Hey, Banjo. If you'd gotten your hands on that money, we'd be on our way to Europe now. You and I together. Always together. Always. <laughs> no! Banjo, what's the matter? Are you sick? No, it's nothing. I was dreaming. Yeah, dreams, dreams. We're a great pair, you and me. <laughs> At least I've always got something I can make money on. You strumming away on that stupid banjo. <sighs> hmm. The sun's up. Where are you going? Banjo. See ya. I can't tell you like that. How much is what you want to tell me going to cost? Uh, $200. <laughs> I had a run in in Denver and they're looking for me. That's why I'm here. I know everything that goes on in this town. Stengel doesn't want to pay that $20,000. He doesn't, eh? How would you know? Women talk a lot when they're making love. Fact is, not even Judge O'Hara or Ferguson will pay. Oh, yeah. They figure uh, your demands are going to go higher and higher.
like everything that was in that safe, maybe? What are you getting at? Oh, I'm not getting at anything. It's your idea. It's too risky. And you don't want a partnership. Uh, you owe me $200. Being around's useful. Sorry, lady. Stengel wanted to invite me to supper. Why didn't he come right out and say so?
You are here because that's what I wanted. Stengel, sit down. That 20,000 I wanted isn't enough. I'd like to get a hold of more money. <laughs> well, you won't like it. That's too bad. <laughs> a business is business. Now it's 30,000. 30,000 dollars? But you can buy all of Texas for that. Well, hardly. But that does seem to be your intention. Now, you're obviously interested in buying land that'll soon be worth twice as much. Because sooner or later, the railroad will be passing over. So, shall we agree the price is settled? Uh-uh. It's not worth it, Stengel. If I don't get out of here alive, Colonel Rafferty will be informed of everything. Take the 30,000 to Judge O'Hara. You've got until 8 o'clock in the morning. Very generous. I think so. See, Banjo, I told you not to worry about him. I know this hombre. I said he'd be back. Where's my money, huh? Ah. Soon there'll be enough cash for everyone. All I gotta do is believe in you, right? You don't trust about that? What do you think they'll do? Nothing. I'm waiting. <laughs> who could betray us to the army was Oswald, and he's been eliminated. No reason to fear anybody. That man has no proof against us. You're wrong, Ferguson. He knows everything about us. I know what I'm saying. If he is a government official, then... He's nothing. He's a drifter who's after our money. First 10,000, now 30. It'll cost a lot less to get rid of him. What we need is somebody from the outside. I think I know somebody. Just the right boy. Sharky! Sharky, you filthy slob! You answer when your mother calls, understand? How long you're gonna wait? I'm expecting you to get the Mallory's. You better go out right now and shoot them, here. Yeah? They stole your woman, didn't they? And you don't do nothing about it. Listen to me. This whole business must end or they'll shoot us. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Why must I stand here? Well, it was you who sold her to the Mallory's. Who? Hmm? Ain't that something, eh? You want to get me arrested, eh? <clears throat> Ma, come on, Ma. Hey, what is this? 
I just have a little job for your son. I'll do the talking. Why do you pay the boy? One thousand bucks. Five hundred now, and the rest when the job is done. What are you waiting for? Go on! And come back today! Where's the money? Sharky, word's gotten around that you've been drinking a lot. Alcohol can make your hands shaky. See those twigs? Watch. One would have been enough. Mister, I must tell you, till you got here, Dougherty was nice and quiet. The devil rides with you. I alone don't say it. Ask Padre Brown. Ask the alley cat here. Stop laughing. You're dead. The grain grow taller, right? <laughs> Just a minute, you. I was there. It was self-defense. I saw it. Well, you stick yes. around till I need you. Hey, wait. I wonder where he'll end up. And where do you come in? I'm on his side for the moment. I'm waiting. Curse my mother who bore me, and my father, and my brother, and my whole family! How about Althrothy? I won it at Richmond. The Battle of the Seven Days. It's silver. Take it, Banjo. Mm -mm. Nothing. It isn't silver either. I'll play you for what you're going to make from Sabata. Ah. I have ten dollars. Five thousand. Let's bid on Sabata's scheme. I want to see what he'll do. <laughs> Sit down, you lice breeder, you. Uh, who? Me? Lice breeder, huh?
pretty good, eh? He got too close to one particular lice breeder, eh? <laughs> Now, Father Brown will have it in for you, too. He already spends most of his time saying masses for the dead and nobody pays. Self-defense, eh, Mr. Ferguson? Yeah. I'll tell it to the sheriff. Padre, I don't know what to do. You can see Zapata's not a good Christian. Tell him I want to see him as soon as possible. Yes, Padre Brown. And now you too. What about you? Honestly, Padre, the whole thing is just an accident. Hey, Ali Cat. Hey. Can't you lie a little when it's needed? Just not yes instead of no. <laughs> Blown by the winds, eh? By the army. <laughs> Father Brown wants to see you. You wanted to see me? <coughs> well, Father? Look, my son, what you are doing is not good for you. It's not just, and it's not human. come to see me earlier, perhaps we could have avoided all this bloodshed. <coughs> Life is a gift to the all-highest. <coughs> it's a sacred thing and must be respected. <coughs> Father? Yes, I've got this cold. Yes? I've caused you a lot of trouble lately. So I'd like to leave an offering for you. Thank you.
Banjo. What are you doing here? Playing a requiem for Father Brown. He doesn't need you. You never know. The ways of the Lord are infinite. Sabata. You're seeing ghosts now? I'm sorry about your father, Brown. A coffin fit just killed him. Well, thirty thousand. Give us another day. Certainly. For sixty thousand. How about it? It's a lot of money. But give it to him. We need time to get it together. We don't have that kind of money. Make up your mind. Sixty thousand. Tomorrow. At noon. At Los Palos. Let's give it to him, Stengel. If he goes away, for good. He'll never stop blackmailing us now. I was stupid not to have found the right man. What do you mean, Stengel? at the saloon. They call him Banjo. We know what Sabat is up to here in Dougherty, but what about you, huh? I'm waiting. Waiting for what? For somebody to give you a pile of money for playing that banjo? That won't happen in this town. You'd have to kill them first. It wouldn't be the first time. What do you mean by that? Banjo, there's five men waiting down there. I think they want to play a little music with you. Hey up there, Banjo! I have to go, Jane.
the country, but then I heard you were in Texas. There's no one around who can put one over on us, Claytons. We're finishing up the job, Banjo. It's sad to have to die so far away from home. Banjo! the heart. He remembers. You knew him? Once. We played together. Banjo! <laughs> Banjo! Banjo, thank the Lord. I'll buy you a drink. I want to talk to you. I got a job for you. If you accept it, this bag is yours. It's not bad money. It's the army reward that I got. What do you say? Are you going in? We're not partners, yes. Oh. What's this all about? Tomorrow noon at Los Palos, there's going to be a delivery. We'll go. I'll take it.
Is the merchandise precious? Yeah. Then we won't see it. And you? What do you think? There's somebody riding up. He's coming towards us. He's dismounting. He's here. Just alike. I'm on the right side. Which side is that? Not the side against the law. <laughs> and you find yourself up against Banjo. I'm not Father Brown. Karincha, leave your fleas alone. Hmm. Me in the south and you in the north. We might both have died because of old age. Instead, our paths cross once again. <laughs> me for five thousand dollars there's a lot more than five thousand you're getting how much how much answer me <laughs> you'd like to know How much? A hundred thousand. Not five. Just what was in the safe. You had sixty thousand dollars in your hands. <laughs> and they frightened you. <laughs> because they'd rather pay a hundred to any man who'll kill you. <laughs> Go on. Why don't you kill me? It was you said. The ways of the Lord are infinite. And it's true. Get going. Hey, amigo! That's Sabata, and you lost it! <laughs> warm around these parts yeah. pretty soon. More than in Mexico, I'm sure of that. <laughs> hey! The bag! Hey, wait. To Mexico, huh? Eh? All right. You'll never get him, Stengel. Take a lot more than that. The money's still there. You can try again. 
This time I won't miss. Bring him in and it's yours. Get him. Yeah. Tequila. Sounded like it came from the supply room. Take him outside. Make him look like he's asleep on the job. We haven't got much time. Sooner or later, they'll spot us.
Better look around. Slim! Haven't spotted our boys yet. I'm sending someone to Aqua Dulce to wait for them. his wet nurse. Don't be so funny. One of these days, you'll laugh on the other side of your greasy face. <laughs> Where's Tequila? Have you seen him? Get up there. 
Get on the trolley. Somebody wants to keep me alive. Let's go. Like the Battle of Richmond. Amen for every shot. Every other shot. General Sabata! Ah. Hey, that's good luck. Give it to our friend. one for you.
we'll get your 60,000. It's... Are you in there? It's in the bank. Stay out there! I'll give you the signal. Now. Before you die, you should know that those men with superior talents and consequently with superior powers always have one last card to play. You know, Stengel, I wouldn't bet a dollar on that last card. Like Los Palos. Now we're even. There's something very important I've got to tell you. I know the money's in the bank. And it can only be paid by the judge. Hmm. O'Hara! My high for 60,000. Against yours for 20,000? Hmm. Where would I get that kind of money? <laughs> O'Hara put it up for you. He wants to keep his reputation. Sure. Sure. Tomorrow at sunrise, a dowdy. A fair duel, Banjo. <laughs>
This way, Shadow. Well, finally, his luck ran out. So long, everybody. So long. I'll take care of burying him. I think he would have done the same for me. Uh, bury you. Yeah, he would have done that. Here, help me up with it, Banjo. I'm sorry. But I did tell you, Jane, I was just passing through. was 50-50. So now you'll have to settle for the army reward. Sharing it with Garincha. Go 
world. Hey, wait! We're still partners! 